Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the two agents that are getting nerfed in the up and coming 4.08 patch, uh, which is also the start of a new act. I think this is these are honestly some really nice changes, <clears throat> and also there's a new agent being released. But the first agent being nerfed is Jet, and Jet is receiving a nerf to her dash, which is one of the uh, one of the reasons she's so powerful, and I'll be talking about that here in just a second. First, the thing that they're changing is after you press the dash button. Uh, there will be a short delay, which is a really important part of this. Uh, it'll activate a 12 second period where you can dash just like normal. So the big thing about this is after a short delay, right? So before you could just hit the dash button, you'd instantly dash. But now you actually have to wait a second uh, before you can dash. And after you wait a second, this 12 second uh, window will begin. And uh, also you will lose the dash whether you use it or not after this 12 second period. So you really want to be aware of when you're when you should be activating this so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh video here so pretty much this is what it's gonna look like you're gonna hit the button and then there's kind of like glowing effect around you and then you can see here the dash button comes up so it's like a it's like a split second but still right um it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty significant nerf because whenever you're uh whenever you're getting shot say in the back or something before the dash was a really nice way to kind of escape this, but now it's not really going to be like that, right? You're gonna, you're more than likely just gonna die before you have a chance to dash. Uh, more than likely, sometimes people are gonna whiff, and of course, you know that's not the case. So you see, if this runs out here, there's also a noise, uh, but the dash is gonna run out afterward. Also, you can see whenever someone else on the enemy team activates it, you can see this little effect around them. Um, yeah, you can see that effect there. And Jet actually kind of glows white, which is interesting. But the big, the big, the big thing to note here is that Jet, she's pretty much the same for entering. Because whenever you entry, um, you're gonna know, so you can activate this window right before you entry, and you can dash just like normal. But the downside is, whenever you're opping, you really need to predict well when you have the dash, right? If you're gonna really try to use that dash, you have to predict. So maybe like at the start of the round, you activate it immediately if you think they're gonna come to you. Um, but otherwise, it's not. It's also not as good whenever you're getting shot and you don't expect being shot, so you can't dash out to safety. And that's gonna be a pretty significant uh, nerf now. So next is Sova. And so the two things are changing about Sova is his shock darts in the very center are going to be doing a maximum of 75 damage. I think this is a nice minor nerf, honestly. I don't think this is crazy. Um, I mean, you could never get one shot by a shock dart before uh, and now, it's just two really good shock darts to kill one person. Uh, and even if they're damaged, your shock darts can still easily kill people. So one thing that I will note here is you can see on the left, the animation looks different. And Riot has already said that they're going to be reverting this animation change because people have all kinds of lineups for Sova, obviously. And this new animation actually completely changes the lineups that you might have because people use like, you know, as you can see the bow here and maybe Sova's arm or the, the arrow, they use that for the actual lineups themselves. So Riot's going to be reverting that. The other nerf is to Sova's drone. And Sova's drone will be shorter and it now only tags people for two pulses through walls instead of three pulses. So this is a little more of a significant nerf to the drone, but again, I don't think Sova's gonna be bad by any means. You just have to play him a little more like fast pace. You have to drone from areas that are actually closer to your enemy. And I think it's a really good change because honestly, Sova is just really pretty much a must pick on some maps. Um, and, and Jet's not like a must pick, but Jet's really strong as well. So now I'm going to show you kind of what this animation looked like. And you can see the damage here, 75 versus 90. And then the outskirts also do less by just a little bit. So again, I don't think this is that crazy of a change. I think this is a nice little nerf. I don't, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to hurt Sova too much, honestly. I really wanted to hurt Sova. I think they should have reduced it to like 60 damage maybe. But so here you can see uh, before and after the drones. I'm not actually sure of the times, but let's see. Okay, so it goes from a 10 second, about a 10 second drone time to about a seven second drone time. So that's honestly, um, that's honestly kind of significant because in those last three seconds of the drone before you might be able to tag and see like multiple enemies. Whereas now you're a little bit more limited, and also as you can see here, the enemy's pulse. I don't actually doesn't show it, but enemies only pulse for two times now. So that's also honestly a really good nerf because you know you won't be exposed for as long. You won't fear Sova drones quite as much because before, if you get caught out by a drone and you get tagged, you're kind of just screwed. You either have to run all the way back, uh, or 
you know, just die, kind of. Just fight and die while you're getting completely exposed to the whole enemy team. Um, so, again, I think right now these two agents are probably the two strongest agents in all the game. Uh, if not, definitely they're both in the top three. I'm thinking Chamber is also up there. But these, these two agents are definitely in need of a nerf for a little while now. And I'm really glad that Riot is actually doing this. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the, the dash change. It kind of makes me a little bit sad as a somewhat of a jet main. But, you know, I, I understand it. So another, a little bit of a rebuff they could do, I think, is instead of, instead of having this uh, dash run out at the end of the timer here, like you can see here, I think maybe they'll, they could give you the dash back. I think that would be a nice little rebuff because you see if you don't use it, you actually just lose it. So I feel like that's kind of intense, but maybe that's how they want it. So um, again, I don't think this is the end all be all for Jet. I think she's still maybe like a, an A or a B tier duelist. Definitely probably above Neon and Phoenix still, probably still above Yoru, but yeah. So in Silva, I think he'll still definitely be played. Actually, depending on how good the new character here is, I don't know if it shows in this video, but the new character is going is looking to be like an absolute replacement for Silva, like S tier uh, number one agent in the game, but I can't say that for sure again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video a little bit of a different pace for me today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed leave any comments or any kind of discussion about these changes in the comments below. And if you'd like any other videos like this in the future, so peace, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.